What more do you want to hear? Come on, man. I've told you everything I know, okay? Everything I saw, everything I heard that day. And now you want me to tell you the whole story again from the beginning? You bring this new guy inside here and you want me to start over? Like, what were you guys doing when I told the story before? Really, seriously. What were you doing? You know something? You better get yourself a pen or a paper and write this thing down or videotape it because this is the last time I'm telling the story. This is too painful, man. This is the last time I'm telling the story. You know what? If I'm going to have to tell the story again, you better get me some more cigarettes or a drink or something, man. You know, what's my motivation? <laughs> Come on, no cigarettes? Dude, how about a drink? I, I take whiskey. Neat. <laughs> no drink, huh? No drink. But you want my story. Well, guess what? You want the story and I'm the one who has it. So you better get me what I need. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me, sir. Do not shake your head at me. Do not shake your head at me. Okay, okay. I'll tell you the story. Okay, so... It was a Sunday. It all started on a Sunday. And I remember it was a Sunday because I had just finished having breakfast. You know, I live in the brownstone, right? And I live upstairs. And I just finished having breakfast. Good breakfast, too. Oh, wow, that was a great breakfast. And I heard this noise down in the street. This huge commotion. Eh, a lot of noise. And I'm thinking, this is Sunday, people. Come on. What's all this noise on a Sunday? Anyway, I went over to the window and I looked down. <laughs> And I saw the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I saw this man on a donkey. <laughs> I said donkey. And he's coming down the street and there's this whole crowd around him and they're making all this noise and I'm thinking this is a Sunday, people. Come on, get real. Anyway, he's walking down the street on this donkey and there's this huge crowd and they've got palm leaves and you know those big foam fingers and flags and all kinds of stuff and they're they're all shouting hallelujah and all kinds of things and i'm thinking you know what maybe i missed the holiday maybe i missed the holiday maybe maybe there's some parade going on and i don't even realize that i missed the holiday anyway i thought about going down there i did but i don't like crowds see even when I was a teenager, I didn't like crowds. I, even when all my friends were going to the festivals and all those things and the disco and stuff, I didn't go. I don't like crowds. Anything more than five people is a crowd for me, and I don't like crowds. So I didn't bother to go down there. Listen, I'm telling the story. You want the story or you don't want the story? Don't tell me how to tell my story, okay? So this is crowd. <laughs> And he's coming through the city street on this donkey. <laughs> this big man on this little donkey. Now, I don't know what happened, but he stopped at the church. You know that big church on the corner of Palm and, and, and Roosevelt? Yeah, that church. Big church. I could see it from where I am because I'm just across the street in that brownstone. And I look down and he gets off his donkey and he goes into this church. <laughs> now... I cannot tell you what happened in the church. And you asked me before, and I cannot tell you what happened in the church because I didn't go into the church. But what I do know is that five minutes later, I saw three priests heading out of that church. And you know that tall, dark one that's always standing on the corner shouting? He hopped into his BMW and sped off down the road. He was hopping mad. I do not know what that man did in that church. But whatever he did... Now, I wasn't in there, so I can't tell you what happened. I can only tell you what I heard, okay? And I heard that he went into the church and he took the collection box that they take money in and that he tossed it around and he started calling them thieves and saying that this was a den of thieves and he busted up some stuff. <laughs> so if you're looking for some killers, <laughs> the people who probably set him up, I'd start there. I'm starting the church. Oh. What's that? What am I supposed to do with this? I told you I needed a drink, man. This is not a drink, okay? This is not a drink. This is water. I've already had enough water. I need whiskey. 
neat. You want the story? Then you gotta give me what I want. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I'll get to it. You gotta wait. So, you want to know what happened on Thursday. Okay. Well, I can't tell you what happened on Thursday because I didn't see him on Thursday. I did not see him on Thursday. The next time I saw that man was, was it Tuesday? Was it Wednesday? I know it wasn't Thursday because on Thursday I get my hair done. So I know it wasn't Thursday. Um, it was Friday, actually. It was Friday. You know how I know it was Friday? I was coming from the market. I was coming from the market and I heard this loud commotion again. Whole lot of noise, whole lot of noise. Hang on, I'm getting a message. Yeah, I'm getting a message, just hang on. Yeah, 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 anyway. So it was Friday. And I'm coming from the market and I hear this loud noise and all this screaming and carrying on and I'm thinking, Okay, who are the lynching today? See, in this city, jungle justice is a real thing, okay? So, I heard all this noise and it sounded like they were gunning for blood, really. So I kind of just came, I, I took the back road, I went down that back alley and I came back around and I kind of peeped to see what was happening. And dude, it was the same man. Yeah, that same man that they had been crying hallelujah and shouting and screaming for on Sunday, it was him. But man, he didn't look so good. No, he didn't look so good. He did not look so good. See, I've seen a few lynch mobs before. <laughs> Lynching is a serious thing in this town. And you know, we've had, we've had a lot of crime lately. So I just kind of thought that maybe they had caught one of the murderers or one of the thieves and they were going to lynch him. But when I saw it was this guy, I thought, whatever he did in that church that day, man, he crossed the wrong people. See, if it was a mob hit, they would have just tied a brick to his leg and tossed him in the river. That's what the mob does. Or they would have just shot him. But when I saw these people gunning for blood, oh my God. I figured it had to be whatever he did in that church. Because the only people with the kind of influence to get a mob riled up like this to lynch a man like this would have to be the priest and his people. So if you're looking for a killer, if you're really looking for who killed him, I'd start there. I'd start with the church. Dude, I need a cigarette, man. I need a drink. I need something, something, something. Come on. I can't drink water. You know what? Just bring me some paper and a pencil or something. Let me write the rest of it down because I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this again. What I saw was horrible, man. That was some sick stuff. I can't do this. I'm so tired. I've been here for five hours, man. It's been five hours since you had me here. Anyway, I guess you won't let me go until I tell you everything. You want to know what they did? Let me tell you what they did. Let me tell you what those sick, sick people did. They had this man bloody and bleeding, right? Because they had beat him. And they had him dragging some wood, like this thing that they made to look like a cross or something like these two big pieces of wood that they they formed into some kind of makeshift cross and they they had him dragging that down the street so it was like a death match they had him in a death march pulling this piece of wood this heavy thing down the street and and he was bleeding oh my god he was bleeding okay um hang on Hang on. He was bleeding. And then they, they, they made him stop. And you know what they did? 
You know what those sadistic bastards did? They took nails. Now, I'm not talking normal nails here. I'm talking some long nails, man. These were some long nails, like my whole arm. And they got a big hammer and they pounded those nails into his wrists. Right here. And his feet. And they, they, I mean, what could this man have done to make them do that? Hmm, sick. Who? <laughs> Did you just ask me who? You asked me who actually drove the nails. Does it really matter if it was Mustafa or Tony or Anthony or Amber or who cares who drove the nails? They all drove the nails, man. They all drove the nails. Who cares? Who cares? It was horrible. You know, the whole crowd was there cheering them on, man. That was horrible. And, and there were just these two women. I think one must have been his mother. I don't know if the other one was his wife, his girlfriend or what. But one was definitely his mother because she kept calling him son. And this handful of men who were just kind of crowded around and they were the only ones not jeering and cheering them on. And then he was thirsty because he called out and said he was thirsty. Kind of like how I'm thirsty right now, by the way. I could use a drink, like a real drink. And he said he was thirsty. You know what they did? They took a sponge and they put some vinegar on the sponge. Now who gives a thirsty man vinegar to drink? I mean, that's just sick. You have to be really sick to do something like that. They gave him vinegar to drink. And, 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 and they, they, it, 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 uh, it was horrible, man. Can I just go now? Please, I'm exhausted. I can't do this, I'm so tired. I just couldn't understand why this man wouldn't die, man. He was bleeding from his forehead too because, did I tell you they put a crown of thorns on his head? Like thorns, like you know them big thorns. And it must have gone right into his skull or something, man. He was just bleeding like crazy. And I couldn't understand why this man just wouldn't die. And, and they shot him. Somebody just shot him. One of the guards just took out his gun and just shot him in his side. And he just started bleeding. And there was like water coming out of his side too. It was weird. And that's when that earthquake happened. It was like big lightning and thunder and there was that earthquake. You remember that earthquake? Everybody remembers that earthquake. Come on, where were you? Under a rock? You remember that earthquake? It was weird. Almost like, almost, almost like the earth quaked because he died. And he screamed out loud, man. Oh my God, that was horrible. I remember that scream. I, I, I still hear that scream in my dreams. I don't know what he said. Who knows what he said? It didn't even sound like English. I don't know what he said, but it was horrible, man. It was really bad. And he screamed out and then he just died. He just died. And then, you know that rich guy who lives down on the corner of Cyprus? You know, that, that dude, he owns all them stores downtown. He, for some reason, decided to bury this man in his tomb. <laughs> I kind of thought that was funny, actually. That was probably the only funny thing that day was the fact that this guy had built this huge mausoleum for himself and he wasn't even dead. Like, he was really preparing like a pharaoh to die. And they took the guy and they put him in that tomb. I kind of watched that part. That was interesting. The, the, the mother and the, the, the men who were there, they wrapped his body and they put him in that tomb. And that's it. It's everything I saw. It's everything I know. It's all there is. Can I go now? 
think it's been a long day. I'm free to go? I'm free to go, right? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Before I forget, I saw him yesterday. 